when they heard this, meaning Peter's preaching, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. He clearly articulates what they were to do. Repent, be baptized, receive the Holy Ghost. But when he spoke of baptism, he also expounded a little bit further. He told them how they were to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. He told them why they were being baptized for the remission of sins. Now there's a lot of churches and a lot of groups and a lot of preachers and a lot of people who try to twist scripture and make it say everything except for what it says. But it's so clear. And that's why it's so important that we open up this standard. Because God has spoken it, He didn't leave it foggy and uncertain. No, Peter literally broke it down point for point. So you understood how you were to be baptized. You understood exactly what name, what term you were to use when you baptized, and why you were to be baptized. It's not just an outward profession of an There's more to it than that. It's through the obedience. We don't have faith in the water. There's nothing magical about what we can use any water anywhere. Because it's not about the water. It has nothing to do with water. The power of the remission of saints is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Peter said also in Acts 4 that the penance and remission of sins should be preached in his name. Because that's where the power is. That's where. So that's where our importance is today. It's in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to go into the water. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. 